What's up strong peeps and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be doing, or this week should I say, I'll be doing a deload slash active recovery type week. Uh, for those of you who know, I've been talking about my shoulders giving me, not problems, but they've been a little bit more sensitive and niggly than usual. I haven't been very disciplined with my stretching and mobility, so it's not really a surprise. It's kind of expected that at some point it was going to go with the heavy overhead presses that I have been doing, which is exactly where I've been feeling it. Strangely enough, bench press has been okay, but overhead presses have been a little bit on the shaky side, hence why I didn't go up in weight last week. I stuck to 80 kilograms. <clears throat> anyway, I digress. It's a recovery week, which means I will be doing random kinds of exercises and a bit of pump work. Um, Instead of doing four days a week strength training, I'll probably be training every single day, but focusing on a different type of body part or a type of training to um, speed up my recovery. So today I will be sticking to pretty much shoulder mobility as that's my, my primary concern. So I will mostly be doing some band work and some stretching and mobility movements, things like external rotations and then I'll stretch them out so that I can get them, the capsules nice and warm and get them free flowing because I'm feeling my, my left shoulder is a little bit on the, the niggly side compared to my right. My right one still feels fresh but oddly enough I woke up this morning and my shoulders feel better than they have the last two weeks um, but regardless I'm not going to take any chances um, so I will just be focusing on getting my so I'm going to just place some priority on my, my joint health and my mobility so that I don't injure myself. Uh, I don't always take my own advice, but like I always tell my clients, it doesn't help you push through, injure yourself, and then you can't train for six weeks minimum, probably up to 12 weeks if you do really hurt yourself, if you end up tearing something or dislocating something. So I'm going to take my own advice for a change and I'll be taking it slightly easier. So for my compound deload, I'll be doing about 60% of what my normal weight would be of the weight that I ended with last week. So whatever weight, for instance, my, my squat, I ended on, um, what was it, 170 kilograms. So I'll be squatting with 60% of that. That's um, enough of a weight to keep my strength up and to actually help progress in terms of muscle and strength but it won't be too much to set me back in terms of recovery. It'll just help me recover a little bit. So hopefully next week when I jump back into things, I'll be doing 175 and my body will feel a little bit more rested. Maybe my joints will feel like they've gotten a break and I won't feel so fatigued. So yeah, I'll be doing a variety of different exercises week, including some hypertrophy movements that I haven't done in a little while. Things like just a a good old arm session, some lateral raises for shoulders, as well as maybe some leg extensions and curls for legs, things like that. The good old bro split after I do my deload compound movements. So it should be a fun week. I kind of look forward to it. Um, looking forward to giving my body a little bit of a chance to rest and recover. I'll also be working on my post-workout stretches as well as things like um, maybe some massaging or applying some uh, recovery gels or doing Epsom salt baths, as well as keeping up with my nutrition, like my protein intake to make sure that I am properly recovered, you know, properly, proper sleep, proper hydration. And then the idea is next week when I go back in, I will jump right back into things and I can start to linearly progress again instead of feeling like I'm reaching the end of my my strength capacity so yeah i hope this will be at least i at least hope it won't be a boring week for you guys you might be able to learn something about recovery i hope i can teach you guys or at least give you my point of view of what i can do to help my body recover after i've been training so hard so yeah onto my shoulder mobility and stretches and then I will see you guys in the next one. As always, keep one-upping yourselves and
Boom, boom, baby. Boom, boom. Let's have a good week.